Hey fam, how's it going? Uh, I'm Michael. This is the first in a long line of C-sharp programming tutorials. I'm a uh, two and two and three quarters cans of monsters in. I can smell colors. Uh, let's let's do this. Alright, so first things first, we need to get our development environment set up. The development environment is just the place where we're going to be writing our code. So let's go over to Visual Studios, um, look those up. I'll have the link in the description, we'll come over to Downloads, and download Visual Studios Community Edition. Alright, you guys are going to see something like this, it doesn't matter. Um, we started the download, so open that up. All right, we're gonna go through the setup process together just because these can get kind of tricky. Just said okay. All right, well, we wait for this to go. Um, a little bit more about this series. I, I'm gonna assume that none of you have any software development experience, so it's gonna be completely from beginner to intermediate development. All right, so it's gonna open up. It's a little overwhelming with a lot of these uh, options you have here, but we're just gonna select .NET Desktop Development. That's all we need for uh, beginner tutorials. Uh, but this is also part of why I love, shut the fuck up. This is part also part of why I love C Sharp. It's because it's got so much going for it. Um, here you have cross-platform development with Xamarin, so you can write code for uh, iOS, Android, and Windows Phone all at the same time. I love that. Uh, we have ASP.NET development, which is um, web development, so you can do APIs and you know the entire backend all with C Sharp. It's really nice, but all we need to worry about is .NET desktop development. So we're gonna we're gonna hit install, and uh, I'll see you guys when that's done installing. All right, so you might get asked to restart your computer. I did, so I'll see you guys after that's done. All right, so I got my computer restarted. Took fucking long enough. Um, Visual Studio, we're gonna go search for the installer. I'm gonna hit yes. All right, so we open up to this screen. I'm just gonna click on launch. And, all right, so we get this pop-up. Um, this is to create our Visual Studio account. We don't need to do this right now. Um, this is for connecting to things like the Azure Cloud and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just go not now, maybe later. All right, so we got this window pop up. We're just gonna go to Visual C Sharp. This is gonna give us some uh, nice settings since we're doing all our work in C Sharp. You can choose your color theme. I prefer to keep it with just the standard blue. You can go to light or dark. Uh, dark if you wanna look like a, like a lead hacker, uh, but we're just gonna keep it on blue. All right, you got it all set up. Congratulations, it's looking, it's looking nice and crispy. It's looking real good. All right, so we wanna open up our first uh, program, our first project or uh, solution in Visual Studios. Okay, so we're gonna go to File, New, Project. Whoa, that's a lot of shit. All right, so you don't have to worry about most of this stuff. We're just gonna go to the console application. This is pretty much the most basic solution um, that you can have in C Sharp or in uh, Visual Studios. So we're gonna name it Meme. <sighs> what is wrong with me? Okay. All right, so we open to this new window, and right away, Visual Studios is showing us text that's smaller than neutron quarks, or my self-esteem. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in, because the Hubble Space Telescope couldn't read that shit. All right, so we noticed a bunch of text. But Michael, I didn't write that text. I fucking know, it's all right. So this text is generated by Visual Studios when you generate your project. Um, the reason that it's here is because this is text, this is part of the program that's going to be present in any video, Visual Studios application that you do. But what does this code do? Calm the fuck down, alright? Um, we will learn what every single line of this code does uh, in future episodes, but for now, all you need to know is that this is the code required to... Um, start up any C Sharp application. And in fact, we actually don't need any of this. It will run just fine. Right now, I just want you guys to think of these as containers. So this is a container. This is where it starts. This is where it ends. It holds this container, class program. And then class program opens here, closes here, and it holds this. Uh, this is called the main method. It is the entry point of any C Sharp application. So, Whenever a C Sharp program starts, it's going to go right here and it's going to do anything that we ask it to do inside of these braces. And now we're going to do the basic bitch thing that everyone does when they start programming. We're going to make the console output 
hello world. We're just gonna make it print to the screen some text that says hello world. All right, so the way we do that is we would have to write system dot console. By the way, this, um, this drop down you're seeing here, this nice useful drop down, that's just giving suggestions for um, things you may want you may be wanting to write here. So we're gonna do console dot write line. We're gonna go with what write line. Give it a couple of uh, parentheses and end it with a semicolon. Every statement in C sharp is ended with a semicolon. So then we can come into here and we're gonna say hello world. All right, now to run our application, all we have to do is hit Control F5. And there you go. You just successfully executed your first program. That's awesome, you guys just ran your first program. Congratulations, but uh, this line is a little long. Maybe I don't wanna write system.console.writeline every single time I wanna print on my console. And there's a way to shorten that. So I can take out system. You're gonna see a little red line here in a second. Actually, boom, we mouse over it and console does not exist in the current context. That means that we're just not able to see the class console. How do we see the class console without writing system in front of it? Remember that garbage that I deleted in the beginning? Um, I'm just gonna put one of those things back. It's the namespace, just like, it's a namespace just like this one, called system that contains the console class. So we're gonna type using system, throw that semicolon up. All right, so now that we've declared that we're using the system namespace, it can see the console class inside of that system namespace, and so the red line disappears. And that means that we don't have to ever write system in front of uh, console ever again. Hello, memes. We'll change it to that. And we can hit Control F5, and, and there it goes. We executed the program again. So that is what this garbage at the top means. All right, so we're about ready to wrap up here. I just wanna do a quick summary every tutorial. Um, I know this one's gonna be kinda of quick because we spent most of the uh, tutorial setting up Visual Studios, but I threw together this little synopsis of what we did. So we covered namespaces very lightly. Um, the way we did that is we looked at the console class being inside the system namespace. And by using the using keyword, we were able to access the console class without having to say system.console. We also talked about what the main method is. It's the entry point of the application. So every time a C Sharp program starts, it's going to go to here. It's going to say, I'm going to do everything inside of here first. That's before anything else in the program. We covered printing to the console, so that's printing text here. We do that using console.writeline and then passing it some text. We can do that as many times as we like. And finally, we went over namespace declarations. A namespace declaration is this crap up here at the top. Just using the using keyword and then declaring which namespace we would like to use. In this case, we're just declaring we would like to use the system namespace. And this gives us access to the console class, which we can say uh, write line and then print out our hello world. Super simple. All right, that's the end of the first episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Sorry if it was a little bit dry, but from here on out, it's gonna start getting interesting. We're gonna start talking about um, more prominent subjects in programming. So uh, stick with us and thanks for watching.